Many of the scores that are built using the self-authoring tool are driven by the questions that underlay them. In this case, I'm looking at an item and I can see which of the following are primary colors. There's an option here for correct answer. There's an option for point value. A lot of times those go hand in hand. I set a correct answer, I give it a point value. In this case, this is a checkbox item. I'm sorry, this is a multi-select list, so more than one answer can be correct, and I have three established as correct with point values. Through the scoring widgets, we can also establish if an item is incorrect, meaning it was selected and it was not annotated with the correct value. So if I want to say I'm uh, delivering a skills test with understanding of right and wrong or a cognitive ability test where things are right and wrong, this is a very handy score type. So I could take the total correct minus the total incorrect to get maybe an overall raw score. That could be a, a common use case for this. I could take the total correct, take the total incorrect, multiply that by one-fourth or something like that, and I could have maybe a, a weighted uh, subtraction from my overall score for the ones that were incorrect. But the key to this is establishing on the right-hand side which items I'd like to select. Certain items like rating scales, constant sum, ranking scales, those don't have correctness. Those are uh, continuum values. Those are evaluated or ranking values. Uh, so they exist on a scale, but there is no Boolean right and wrong. But the total incorrect, the system is intelligent enough to know which items could possibly be correct or incorrect. If I were to answer all of these incorrectly, what would come out of the total incorrect score would be, I think, an 8 or a 9, uh, depending how many I have. If I get them all correct, it would show 0. So it's the opposite of the total correct score. So this is used typically in combination with the total correct score to get a weighted overall, overall sum.